Have you ever gone up for the same role? Has that ever happened? I went up for Cersei, yeah. Yeah, it happens quite a lot. <laughs> uh, I got a second call back and then Lena got it. Yeah. What was your interpretation of Cersei going to be like? Uh, just like Cockney. <laughs> Big fat Cockney guy that sells fruit and veg. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> this might be the first film that uh, involves The Rock that could make people cry. I noticed. I, I got a little teary-eyed. I cried when I saw it. I have to say, I was like up and cheering at the end. And uh, yeah, yeah, it made me cry. It made me cry. I, uh, I cried at Scorpion King, right. um, yep. so it's not the first rock film <laughs> that made me cry. Any particular moments? Just just most of it. <laughs> uh, I yeah, I cried a little bit uh, during this too, which was I was on my own in a screening room with people from the from the production company crying. So most important question is who became better friends with Dwayne Johnson? I've never met Dwayne Johnson. Uh, <laughs> I'm nervous about it. I'm nervous. You want to play it cool. Yeah, I want to play it cool. Yeah. What do you want out of the relationship uh, going forward? I just want forward? him to love me. <laughs> I just want him to love me. And, and I just want to say, why haven't I got a role in Jumanji 2? It hasn't started, you know. hasn't started filming yet. I know. I've seen a lot of people cast, and I think, oh, I could have probably done that. <laughs> For a lot less money. <laughs> What about you, Lena? Do you harbor these secret dreams of working and yeah, becoming friends with Yeah, they're not secret. Like, I'm going to come out with it when I meet him, finally. Well, now you have competition, because this guy is bringing all his powers to bear. I don't think, we, uh, I don't think we'll trouble each other's... Same role. <laughs> no. <laughs> we all, didn't have you ever gone up for the same role? Has that ever happened? I went up for Cersei, yeah. Yeah, it happens quite a lot. <laughs> I, I went up for... What, what was did. your audition? You yeah. I did, I did. Yeah. I got a second call back, and then Lena got it. Yeah. What was your interpretation of Cersei going to be like? The way uh, Just like Cockney. <laughs> Big fat Cockney guy that sells fruit and veg. Right. Uh, <laughs> would have been a different way to I go. I tried to bring a bit of that in. But no, I, I noticed that. Yeah. Yeah, There's yeah, no yeah. wrong answer. Yeah. <laughs> Is there newfound respect, renewed respect for wrestling out of this film? I mean, I'm, I, I don't count myself. I didn't grow up watching professional wrestling. But I feel like this is going to work for both audiences, the diehards and those that are just kind of casual fans. Well, we did that first fight we sort of practiced. And it's brutal. Like... They're proper athletes. I don't think I yeah. knew that before, sort of jumping in and going, oh, this is properly hard. Right. And you can hurt yourself. Seriously, yeah. yeah. What about for you, Nick? Were you, I mean, yeah, I've, I've been a big fan of wrestling for many years, um, you know, from a child, really. And I've done some backyard wrestling, and I broke my thumb really badly wrestling once. Um, I it's did not a, funny. I did a power bomb on a man, and as I stood up, I noticed that my thumb was hanging off. Oh, that's that's not a good thing. Not good. It's not a good thing. Power bomb. Um, it's essentially where you put their legs over your shoulders, and then the two of you jump and you slam them down. And I did that. I, I did that onto my bed, um, and it broke. It broke my bed into about, about fifty that. pieces. Wow. There was there was no sexual element to this. We just <laughs> it was just me and another guy wrestling on my bed. So the, the power bomb is no longer part of your repertoire. No, not anymore. Okay. No. Uh, but yeah, I broke my thumb really badly. And I've always loved wrestling, you know. Um, Kane, The Undertaker, Paul Bearer. What a weird, creepy little man he was. Uh, so to kind of finally end up doing a film where I don't meet The Rock was amazing. <laughs> Check, <laughs> checks all it the boxes. An, it was an honor. Uh, I'd like to do a film where I don't meet Stone Cold Steve Austin. Right. That's my next... Uh, uh, that's my next aim. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, I, you both transformed for this one. I mean, everybody, every actor in this one. Did we? I think so. it's I not exactly the same. <laughs> no, the hair is the hair. Come on, let's talk hair. <laughs> was that enjoyable? How did the it friends and enjoyable. family enjoy your mohawk? Um, I, you always say yes to these things, and then you don't realize you've got to look like that for four months. <laughs> so yeah, I had a mohawk for four months, which was, it's fine when you have to wear a hat, but then when you have to do the school run and stuff, and you look like a horrible... <laughs> It's yeah. amazing uh, with that. Oh, thank you. Nice. Is this a Sundance experience? Have you guys been before? Never. Never. What is it? What Nick's are you suffering? What, uh, honest to God, I hate it. Um, <laughs> I'm not good with altitude, and I think we're like seven and a half thousand feet. Right. And uh, spent the night thinking I was going to die. So, so yeah, loving it, all that, and I still didn't get a chance to meet the Rock. So. You're going to yeah. make it though. Oh God, I hope so. <laughs> Touch wood. Fingers yeah. crossed. Yeah. Hang on in there. Let's have a look at a clip. <laughs> No, that's not that's not what we do. Oh, no, sorry. no, 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 no. <laughs> well, it's there for the edit if you need it. <laughs> Lena, have you told Nick about how Game of Thrones Shh. ends? Yes, he knows. He's the first person I rang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was your uh, take on how it ends? I was thrilled. I think all things must end, and uh, you know, why not this? We're all sick of it now. <laughs> it's 
it's boring now. <laughs> Stop it. You know, the blonde one with the dragons is, at, is in King's Landing. It's like, well, well that's it now. <laughs> Worked for that for seven years. Now it's happened. Seems futile to try a semi-serious question, but I'm going to try. Uh, Lena, were you surprised how it all ended up? I, I talked to Kit recently, and he was saying that the expectations are so high that it's like going to be hard to kind of live up to what they imagined. Yeah, but it will. So, will it? Yeah, for sure. What was your emotion reading the final script? We had a massive read-through with all of us, so it was quite emotional. Say goodbye to everyone. It's been nine years. But um, I can't say any more than that. I who can't say how I felt. Can you say who cried the most? Besides Nick. We know Nick was crying. Nick was crying. I myself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I'd say Kit cried the most. Really? Yeah. Emotional that He's one. He's really over emotional. I'm also very excited to hear that your friend and collaborator, Edgar, has a new script, Edgar Wright. Yeah. Have you read it? Are you involved? No, probably not. Are you in it? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I mean, after the success of Baby Driver, I think it's proved that he just doesn't need us, so. Right. You were, guys were holding him back. Yeah. I, yeah. And I get that. I understand. <laughs> I understand that. Both you, both uh, Edgar and Simon have been in Star Wars films now. Yeah. Has Edgar? Edgar had a cameo, I think, in Rogue One. Oh, right. So, oh. I think you know where this is going. Um, yeah, I, I, if they wanted me to do something, I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you really played it cool on that oh, one. I don't know. I mean, I like watching them. Okay. I don't necessarily like watching something... I don't want to be that, even though I've been uh, moaning about Jumanji too. I don't want to be the actor that kind of uses this platform as a way to get more work. You, right? I, well, I don't know. Um, uh, you know, I like, uh, unless they do like something called the Young Jabber Chronicles. Uh, and then they, I think I'd probably be one of the first people they ring. Because they can't you afford James Corden. Really? Uh, <laughs> who Alberton. knew a lack of oxygen made me funny <laughs> I think I've never been this close to death and in being at that place it's opened me up artistically. <laughs> <laughs>